hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to my video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i quickly do highlights i mean this is the method that most people use but um i'm just going to be showing you how i achieve the highlights in the picture in the beginning here is the wig that i'm going to be highlighting for you guys today it's a bob wig with a frontal um i'm going to start first by sectioning this wig out to get all of the hair out of my way so it don't get too messy for me. Highlighting is really easy guys. I mean, once I learned how to do it, it was just like, okay, oh, this is it? Like it was like a, oh, that's it? type of thing but yeah this is how i section mine out i'm gonna start at the very bottom of the head um i'm gonna be using quick blue powder lightener this lightener can be found at any of your local beauty supply stores it can also be found at sally's or even on amazon i usually use bw2 but this was bw2 was out of stock at the time so um as you can see i'm using about three scoops and i'm gonna mix my developer and I'm using a 40 volume developer. I usually just eyeball it. And this mixture is way too cakey. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more 40 volume developer to it to make it looser. The consistency needs to be loose so that it can, it can cover each and every hair strand. And for this look, you want to make sure you have foils. Foils will come in handy because it'll keep that hair that you're lightening separated away from the hair that needs to stay dark um, or either the hair that you're darkening separated away from the hair that needs to stay light. You want to make sure these foils are cut and folded. The reason you like them folded is because you want that foil to stay in place. It helps it stay in place. And as you can see here, I am weaving through the hair. That's how you get your strands that you want to lighten. And you just place that full right up under those hair strands that are separated. This is the hair that's going to get the lightener applied to it. So you're going to take your brush, dip it in the bowl, and make sure that you are just painting. Basically, you're just painting it on but you wanna make sure that you are covering each and every hair strand. You wanna make sure that it is evenly saturated. If it's not, you're gonna see blotches and spots in the color once it's done processing. So just go ahead with your brush. Sometimes you wanna turn it on an angle like that to make sure you're getting in between those hair strands because depending on how thick or thin the hair strands are. So now I am folding my full. You're gonna see that I'm folding it up, just folding it over with my comb. I learned this in cosmetology school. I feel like it's a great way to keep the lightener from seeping through. And you just wanna continue this same method all throughout the head. Every time you section, you wanna weave, apply your lightener, fold your full, and move to the next section. Move as quickly as possible. We don't want the lightener to sit there too long. And we're done. We're just gonna go ahead and check the color. You wanna always check. Um, this was probably after about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna let it process for 45 minutes because I want it to get a lot lighter than that. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull these folds out. Pulling the folds out has no specific way to do it. You just pull them out, honestly. Grab them, pull, grab them, and pull. Once the folds are all out, you want to go ahead and shampoo and conditioner. Uh, you want to rinse all of that product out and install it to your liking. I went ahead and cut this baby 
into a shorter bob and straightened her out. She was very, very beautiful. All of my clients wanted her, but she was made for a specific client who requested these highlights. Um, so, so beautiful. Uh, I went ahead and used a purple shampoo. I did not tone it with any other toner, just the purple shampoo to get most of the brassiness out and the yellow tones out. And this is how she came out. This was my very first video. I hope you guys stay tuned for all of my other creations because I'm always creating. You can follow me on Instagram at Endless Beauty Wigs. That's wigs with a Z on the end. And um, subscribe to my channel because I'm definitely going to be uploading more tutorials and other things that I do. Thank you guys for watching.